Hello, I'm Kiwi in Space, and right now the International Film Festival is going on. As always, I've been going to see the movies that are being screened there, but this year I've decided to take it light. You know, like I'm only going to see a few movies this year. So far, I think I've picked well. I've seen about three movies so far, and I've got time until my next movie begins. So, I've decided to make a video reviewing these three movies. And I'm just going to give you a heads up, I'm going to keep these reviews short and to the point so the video doesn't go on for too long. Now then, here they are. The first one is McKellen playing the part. This is one I actually found quite inspiring. It's a documentary about Sir Ian McKellen, who you most likely know as Gandalf the Grey from The Lord of the Rings, and Magneto from the X-Men movies. It's basically him narrating about his life and what inspired him to be an actor. You get that reference if you'd watched it. It's actually really entertaining. Not just because McKellen's story is interesting, but also because the man himself is just such a delight to listen to. So this is one that I actually recommend if you want to know more about the man. Next is Mirai. It's the new movie from one of my favorite anime directors, Mamoru Hosoda. It's about this toddler named Kuhn who gets a new baby sister, but he gets jealous of her because his parents are paying more attention to her than him. So he starts competing against her for attention. Now before you start making the comparisons to Toy Story, they end there. The movie kind of sporadically introduces this magic element. Who starts getting these visits from these people who are all alternate versions of people who he knows in real life? Whether these visitors are actually real or just in the realms of his imagination, I think that's supposed to be ambiguous. For the most part, I actually did enjoy it, although if I had one complaint with it, it's that Kuhn's temper tantrums get annoying and repetitive after a while, just... Yeah. Overall, it's not a great movie, but... It didn't feel like it was trying to be, it's a much smaller movie than Hosoda's previous ones, but still one worth watching. And finally we have the movie Searching. This is without a doubt my favorite movie so far. It's a new and innovative movie where the story is told almost entirely on computer and phone cameras. It's about a father whose daughter goes missing, she just vanishes almost without a trace, so he takes it upon himself to look for her. But, as he's searching for her, he starts figuring out things about her that he had absolutely no knowledge of. And it actually makes him second guess her when he finds out how much she hasn't been telling him about herself. I'm just going to cut to the chase about what I liked about this movie. The pacing is absolutely perfect. It has just the right amount of plot twists, character development, and suspense to keep you engaged. And actually, that's the key word with this one. Suspense. The movie trickles out information about what's really happening, but it feels real. Which is something that I love to see happen, where you can tell these great cinematic stories, but make them feel grounded in reality at the same time. Searching is well-acted, well-directed, dramatic, intense, and just an overall great movie. So, if you're looking for a different kind of thriller suspense movie, then this is the movie you've been waiting for. Check it out. Well, there are all the movies I've watched so far. I'll eventually make another video about the other movies I'm going to see, but for now, see ya.